Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here today with the results of my Stratomatic pre-play season that was 148 games because I started playing it before baseball had really decided on how many games they were going to play and what the format was going to be. And right here, I've got the results of that season. If you've been following it along, yes, I quick played the last 22 games of the season because I was, um, I was just getting bored of playing all the games out myself and uh, televising them. So that's what I did. I went ahead and played it. And plus the White Sox, it was apparent to me they weren't going to make the playoffs. You can't handle the truth! Anyway, and as it turns out, they didn't. Now, we did miss a game. Somehow, we missed a game against Baltimore, but that game wouldn't have mattered. Even if we played it and won, we still wouldn't make the playoffs. So, here, right here, I've got all of the results. I got the AL and the NL. In the East, you've got the Yankees, Tampa Bay, Boston, Baltimore, and Toronto in that order. From that division, the Yankees are, of course, the division winner, so they will go to the playoffs. And Tampa Bay was one of the wild cards, so they will go to the playoffs. Uh, notable here was that Baltimore and Toronto were more than 40 games out of first place in a 148-game season. Then you got the Central. The Central, the Twins, won that easily. They had a record of 93 and 55. And, uh, I mean, they were the worst, let's put it this way, they were the worst division winner in the American League. And yet, Cleveland finished eight games behind them. We finished 12 and a half behind them. And then you got a big cliff where Kansas City and Detroit seemed to fall off. And they were 35 and 46 back, respectively. Then you got the West and Houston... Yes, Houston. They must have gotten some new garbage cans that uh, nobody could hear or see except them. They finished 105 and 43, best record in the league. And so then you got Oakland was the second place team. Oakland, second place and 22 back. But Oakland is going to be, are they? Um, no, no. Oakland, they just missed making the playoffs. And so the other wild card, in, a, in a, uh, addition to um, Tampa Bay, is Cleveland. So Cleveland and Tampa Bay will have a play-in game. And of course, the rest of the West, you can see here, LA 69 and 79, Texas 62 and 86, Seattle 59 and 86. So what's going to happen is that um, there will be a play-in between Cleveland and Oakland, and I don't have the results of those. I have not done those yet. I will have another video in the future where I will recap the playoffs and uh, the World Series and let you know how that all turns out and who wins this league. But, um, yeah, Cleveland is going to play Tampa to, uh, in a one-game playoff. Or no. Is it best of three? Is it best of three or a one-game play-in? I think it's a one-game play-in. So, um, they're going to do a one-game play-in to see which one is the real wild-card team. And then whoever the, that um, ends up winning that game will end up going up against Houston and then um, and then I guess Minnesota and the Yankees will play each other. So uh, yeah, that's how the American League shapes up. So and then you got in the NL East, you got Washington on top there with their 90 and 58 record. And then you got the Mets and uh, the Braves, the next two teams, and they're both the wild cards in the National League. New York at 82 and 66 and Atlanta at 80 and 68. And then, uh, you know, and then you got Philly and Miami bringing up the rear in those division, in that division. 
Then you got the Central. St. Louis wins it with just an 81 and 67 record. They got the worst record of any team in either league that won their division. Then you got Chicago at 79 and 69, only two behind them. They only finished two out of uh, you know possible playoff spot there. And then Milwaukee at and this is really interesting because you got Chicago negative two back, Milwaukee negative five back, Cincinnati negative five back, and then bam, Pittsburgh negative twenty seven back. And then you got the West. You got the L.A. Angels at one hundred two and forty six, winning their division. Arizona seventy six and seventy two. 26 back. They were the second place team. They were 26 back. Then you got Colorado, 71 and 77, 31 back. You got San Diego, 70 and 78, negative 32 back. And San Francisco, 51 and 97, 51 back. Now, if you are a fan of any of these teams, except for Chicago, because I'm going to go over Chicago in a minute, quickly, quick overview, like a high level, 43,000 feet overview but if you're a fan of any of these other teams and you own the stratomatic game the current stratomatic year you can go check this league out for yourself by downloading it from the cloud because i put it in the cloud and i will put the description in the description i will put um the uh league id and the and the password that you'll need to access and download the league so that you can look at anything you want. But the uh, the the league uh, number is 1900-1900, and the league access code is 52821. And again, you could just rewind, rewind the video if you didn't get that, or you can look in the description because it'll be there, and then you can download the league and look at anything you want, any player you want, whatever, and, uh, you know, see what happened. Except for the playoffs, because I didn't start those yet. So that is the quick overview of the standings and where every team finished. But now we're going to go over the Sox. Make my day. So what we got is the sock stats right here and like i said this is the quick you know thirty-five thousand foot overview uh we were 81 and 68 third in the central as you just saw we were 46 and 28 at home 35 and 40 on the road in extra inning games we were 10 and 7 and uh in one run games we were 23 and 26 so you know the bullpen, and you might have heard me mention it in a couple of the games that I played, the bullpen was kind of a bugaboo, at least in the Stratomatic version. In real life, the bullpen is actually quite good. But in the Stratomatic world, not so much. Then you got uh, the last 10 games, we were 7-3, and three, but in the last 22, and I said the last 22 because those were all games that I quick played and I did not manage them at all, we were... 12 and 10. So Hal actually did a pretty decent job on his own without my help. And in fact, if you watched any of the games that I actually televised, that I actually managed, I lost quite a few of those myself, just with my decisions. Like keeping Ben Walos in a little too long, a little too often. So, yeah. You know, it happens. So anyway, we got the team offense, 276. We hit 276 as a team with 275 home runs in a 148-game schedule. And uh, 788 runs scored. Not bad. The offense was really good. Then you got the pitching. We had a 454 team ERA, which is not that great, but probably wasn't horrible league-wide but again if you own the game and you own this year you can just go into the cloud and let, download it and see then we got uh, right here i wrote the 60 game equivalent because um i played 148 game season but major league baseball is really doing a 60 game schedule so in 60 games at the winning percentage of 81 and 68 in 60 games we would be 33 and 27 um, 
But uh, let's hope that doesn't happen because right now we just crossed over into the second half of the 60 game schedule. So there's like 29 games left and we've already won 19. So that would, that would mean we would only win uh, 14 more games, something like that. Uh, yeah, 14 more games out of uh, 29. Well, all right. Actually, that's I could see the Sox doing that. Um, and then we've got uh, some stats here, you know, some standout stats from guys, a couple of guys. But again, if you want to see the White Sox, you just have to download the team from the or the league from the cloud. Uh, Moncada hit 326 with 34 jacks and 110 RBIs. And Tim Anderson hit 308 with 25 homers and 61 RBIs. Aaron Bummer in the bullpen, he was 8 and 4 with 7 saves and a 199 earned run average. And then you got Giolito who was 13 and 10 with a 366 ERA in 206 and a third innings pitched. Not sure if there was a no-hitter in there, but I'm pretty sure probably not. But anyway, that's the recap. So the next thing, the next step for me associated with this league will be to do the playoffs. And then I will brief you on how the playoffs went in a separate video later on at a later date. But I just wanted to let you guys know that this season, the regular season, done. Done, complete, in the books. And uh, that's how everybody did. The White Sox, unfortunately, did not make the playoffs, but we had a winning record. So, you know, and a lot, if you go back and you look at those standings, a lot of the uh, teams were roughly about where you might expect they might finish. I mean, we've had some surprises in real life, like Baltimore and Miami, but, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. And, of course, Washington does is a little disappointing but they were disappointing through the first 60 games of last year too and they've had a lot of injuries and players with covid and you know that type of thing so um uh, that that affected them and that will affect them in real life whereas in stratomatic those aren't concerns so uh i hope you guys like that video what do you think of the season um what are your thoughts Who's going to download the league and look at it? I mean, the information's there. I put it in the cloud. So, you know, it's up to you guys to go get it uh, if you want, if you're that interested. Um, I thought it was a good season for the White Sox, um, considering that they've been a horrible team most of the time up until now. So, you know, I was satisfied with the results. Um, I, you could have hoped that we would have, finished ahead of Cleveland, but, you know, we didn't. But even right now, it's kind of a struggle. We're, like, right there with Cleveland in real life. So, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. But at the moment, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.